Leila, good morning to you. What what should be the next step for the government to, um, to t- take here? Should it be teacher assessments? Well, I I think we are getting to that point. What I've been calling for is for this algorithm to actually be fully published, so that they nobody can, can understand say, it. It's been looked at by very very bright young people. They can't. They don't get it. Yeah, no, and we're now at the point where, and I've got a maths and physics background. I used to teach maths and physics. And whenever you've got a model and then you try and map individuals onto that model and it becomes clear, as we have seen from those heartbreaking individual stories from students missing out on places who, you know, fail exams they never took, that kind of thing, um, then it becomes clear that the model itself is wrong. And we then have to take a decision about what do we do next. I'm increasingly of the opinion that yes we should move back to center assessed grades i think they also need to make a decision about the gcse model next week we've got the gcse's coming out and 97 percent of those grades are going to be changed by that model according to stories this morning so i think there is a real real issue and there's a natural injustice in those students who aren't getting into universities i've also been calling on universities to just accept them but finally and i think this is critical the buck has to stop somewhere, Andrew. These head teachers, these students, these universities who have been put into this impossible position, Gavin Williamson, in my view, needs to go. He's run out of excuses. He's run out of time. He's clearly incompetent. It's time for him to go.